Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So as you can see, I played off camera for a while. The reason, like long story short, is that I once again have technical difficulties. I have to re-record re this whole episode. I already had like 45 minute long episode recorded. Uh, but in the end, the video just got, was corrupted. I couldn't salvage it, so I have to do the whole thing again. Uh, I think I found the, the problem that I had, so hopefully everything will be fine, but... In the end, I didn't want to go through the preparations for the first fight again, so I just did that off-camera. And we can just start with the attack on the brigands. Just quickly, what uh, what you missed. So last time we arrived to Wiedemark with the caravan, got a very nice reward, like 1100 for at this point in the game, that's, that's exceptionally good reward. Uh, and there was uh, a quest or contract that we knew about to attack a brigand camp. Uh, I decided to do it, but I wanted to prepare a little bit better for the fight. I didn't know what we'd be facing, so I wanted to like prepare for all the eventualities. And I felt like we needed more damage and also we needed to buy one more chest armor. So I waited until the morning uh, next to be the mark and in the morning I did some shopping. Uh, I bought another bow, another quiver and another chest armor that I actually forgot to give to the right person because this is an upgrade for the front line. The reason why I needed the chest armor was that Roger only had like 10 point rags um, so it was just asking for a one shot from some random archer. Uh, now it feels a little bit better and I wanted the, the second bow to look like we have more range damage capability. Uh, the whole thing is that the AI, if it doesn't feel threatened by your like range damage output potential, it just stays back and doesn't move to you. So I need to look like I can do some range damage to force the AI to move to me so that we can fight defensively. We are in no shape to fight offensively. So uh, by buying the second bow, I basically doubled our potential ranged output, or range damage output. In the end, it wasn't necessary because what I found in the uh, in the den are just brigand raiders, so no rank support. It's actually more difficult than uh, what I was facing in the fight uh, that I lost. The video that I lost, there were only like some thugs and some brigand raiders, so significantly easier fight than this one. But I'm not gonna like reload to and try to fight this to find the same thing. Uh, I think. Well, this is more difficult, but also will be more interesting. The potential for a decent reward here is much higher. Uh, not like the, the reward was bad last time, but I mean, yeah, I'm just not willing to record it over and over again to find the same thing. Um, so we'll be fighting some raiders here. Um, yeah, we can jump in, I think. There is nothing else to talk about. And if this video just gets for some reason fucked up again, I'm gonna be really bad. I, I really hope this works. Um, so, engage. What are we looking at here? Oh, this is pretty scary. This is scary and this is scary specifically. Not that afraid of the axe. Um, hmm, I'm actually thinking about moving all the way back here. Uh, I also don't mind fighting in this organized line. It's like quite a wide line. And it's 10 against 7, so we will have the option to surround them. Uh, or surround some of them. Maybe I'll stay. I want to see what they're gonna do. We can just wait and see what they, what they do. Well, they just do nothing. For now. probably too far away for them to be afraid of my attacks so let's just I'll just be careful they have some throwing weapons that's unfortunate they can do a lot of damage mm. well, if I move one tile with everything Hmm. 
I don't think they will react in any way now. I have to... I have to threaten at least one of them. Okay, now there is something happening. Oh, that is happening, okay. Doesn't have a helmet. And they don't really have any shields, that's nice. This one has a garbage shield, but all the others don't have shields. So that could be something that we could work with. Uh, aim shot? Probably aim shot, I think. Oh, I was hoping we hit the head. But I'll take this. And I don't think I want to use Spear Wars, actually. At least not yet. If I could get one or two in melee range and then prevent others from getting to us, that would be great. I'm even thinking, actually, about moving to this guy with a flail. If I could hit him, that would be pretty good. Uh, what if I do it this way? Just engage. Oh, I can't move anymore. Mm, no, that's not what I want. <clears throat> Oh, that could be bad. Yeah, that's also bad. Well, I can step back. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope. This isn't good. step back okay so you can wait oh I wanted to step back okay I'll have to do that <clears throat> uh, next time you know what I'll just move forward I need to start hitting this guy I have to be aggressive here, I don't have a choice. If I move here, Fritz is probably gone. Again, I need to kill like two, maybe three more quickly. This is not going the way I plan at all. here move, move no if I move here then I get hit that sounds bad please don't kill anyone one fuck me the pike is mm. 
Oh, that was a really good hit. Yeah, it's expected. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. Uh, can I destroy the shield with two hits? Unlikely. I'll try to do some damage to this guy. Wait. Great. Wait. There's the guy with, with... Which one had the axe? This one? I probably just want to stand back. I forgot the sword. Oof. Good. I don't mind if this one runs away in the end. Come on. It's hoping that we get the armor. So can I handle this one 1v1? One one? No, there is no way. Wait. No, and this idiot is gonna keep throwing X's. Hmm. Oh, that's actually fine. Yeah, and we stay where we are. There's no way I'm moving anywhere. <clears throat> That's good. <clears throat> I'm taking a lot of damage, but as long as we don't lose uh, another character, that was a throwaway that we lost. I mean, I'm willing to trade one throwaway for a victory in this fight. That's a lot of potential upgrades, and he is running away. So if he could just get a kill here before he attacks. Please, there we go. We just let this one run. He has the two-handed axe. That's just too dangerous. What are the injuries? Don't care about this one. Don't really care about this one. Just so we just need to recover the hit points and we are basically ready to fight again. Yeah, I expected this to be a painful fight. So, uh, I think I'm happy with the with the outcome in the end. Fritz survived with maimed foot, which slows down his movement. Minus twenty percent initiative. We don't care about initiative. I don't really care about the movement either, to be honest. So maybe promise he's gonna be healing for like a year. Uh, 
was it worth it? Food, food, 300 gold, 13,000 supplies, uh, undamaged 90 point armor, I'll take 105 point helmet, I'll take a boar spear, definitely worth it. Upgrade, upgrade. Not sure if I want to use two handed sword. I don't think we have anyone who would be able to use it safely. We need someone uh, with a decent melee skill and decent armor. At this point, I kind of need shields. Swords we can sell. Um, let's see how much we can get for the sword. It would be better to sell it. Uh, but overall, pretty good loot. So I would call this worth it. Okay, where is my club-footed friend here? Or maimed-footed? 68 hit points. Uh, I kind of want to heal him up. Okay, so let's make the changes that we know that we want to make. That's one. That's two. So... Oh, that actually, the cut cut art blood is a bit more more annoying than I thought it was. Um, minus three fatigue recovery. That's also quite annoying, but we can live with that. Also, it heals very quickly. Sell, 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 sell. <clears throat> Probably don't want to fix this. Oh, I'm definitely replacing this spear, but who gets this one? I guess Volker. Come on. Probably should keep the sword. Now, level ups. That's level 4 tank. So, I hope that I remember the, the level ups from last time. I, I went with shield expert. This is gonna be pure tank, so just survivability perks uh, all over the board. I won't really care about uh, offensive stats at all. Defense, Stamina, Resolve, because I will be taking Rally the Troops for Volker. So that's that. Then for Throwaway on level 3, well, for anyone on level 3, honestly, or almost anyone, it's going to be Gifted. 1, 2, 3, that's easy. And this is what I did last time. Uh, Venre here we want, this is going to be um, initiative based character, so I think I went, I went dodge last time, and one initiative hit points because it's much better roll than the stamina and we won't need that much stamina for this build. Okay, so I hope I remember um, the level ups that I did last time in the last video. 
cool. Now we need to go back. And we need to repair. We need to heal. How long are we gonna need for healing? One to three. It doesn't take super long to heal. Uh, not even. We don't even need that many medical supplies, surprisingly. So it looked worse than it actually is. We're gonna need more uh, tools and supplies, that's for sure. Okay, how much? 217. How much can we get for uh, the loot? 500 for the silver bow almost, so that's a decent price. And not even 200 for the sword. I think I'll just pass. We are at 2500. 2500 is a lot of money. Huh. Well, we need that. For 270, I'm gonna buy two stacks. Food wise. How long does this last? 10 days? Maybe buy just one stack of the dried fruit because we can't really count on this that's gonna disappear in one day. Uh, anything here that you might be interested in? No. And recruits. Last time I didn't recruit anyone here, but now I have more money because I did more difficult fight and got a better reward. Uh, there is one character here that I'm potentially interested in, Volmar, who is a squire. I like squires when they get uh, stars where they're supposed to be. They can be pretty decent, but I think we need at this point a ranged character, a proper archer. So, um, I'll pass. And uh, uh, what I decided to do, I want to copy what I decided to do last time. Uh, I decided to go north because I want to visit all of these like forest villages and cities and get the proper archer. This time we have even more money than I had last time. So we might actually be able to recruit someone. And another thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to do some exploring along the way so that we can finally uh, fulfill at least one ambition. How does it look like with our repairs? 18 hours, that's a lot of time. Let's set up a camp, I think, at least for a few hours. I had to do this last time as well. Seven, six, five, maybe one more hour. And now we start moving how are we doing hit points wise that's important 21 okay that's bad that's a little bit better that's okay so it's just fritz and we want fritz to leave the company as soon as possible anyway Okay, so the plan was to go this way and climb the mountain here to have a look around. And then through the forest north, maybe actually, no, 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 this way and start here, visiting those cities. As you can see, I didn't have to climb anything. We are done with repairs. We are done healing. Even the injuries actually are gone except for except for this one. Oh hey. So 
actually the same thing that happened last time. I'm surprised because also as I wanted to check the the ruins, there was also a group leaving. So I faced the same thing as I faced here. Thugs and brigands. A weakened garrison. <clears throat> Just doing the same thing. I'm starting in the same horrible position as last time. Oh, this 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 one is slightly better. Um, I don't need to retreat as far as I had to last time. Uh, these guys though, two, four, six are better geared than what I was facing before. Much better. Yeah, again, no no thugs. It's gonna be probably raiders only again. And these guys have helmets, they have shields, they have decent weapons. Uh, this is gonna be rough. This line is going to have a very weird shape. But on this side, I definitely don't want to give them uh, the high ground. I want them to stand under me for sure. Okay, this could probably work. And I think this is our main target. Has to be by far the most dangerous guy. I think I'm gonna step forward and move Vinric here. And just try to hold this with the spear wall. Wait. How much do I worry about them getting to me? I kind of want them to get to me. I don't think I want to use spear wall. Wait. Thirty-six. Thirty-six is bad. But it was enough. This will be a spear wall for sure. Excellent. Hitting or missing with those spikes, that's gonna that's what's gonna decide this fight. This is going to be annoying. I might even want to go to him. Uh, 
Oh, not anymore. You don't have a shield, so you are next in line to get hit. And please... Wait... Now when there are more people coming from the side, I think I need the spear wall. I'll just have to take the damage from those X's. thinking about it. The, this guy with the cleaver is just so dangerous. Now I need to stay here. Good, really good. Almost tempted to go after him. <sighs> it should have been a kill. I had to do it. You should have died from this attack. Yep, that's, that's exactly what I didn't want. Good. Uh, that's never gonna happen, but I don't have another choice. Plus he doesn't have a helmet, so there is this tiny chance. Well, one shot him. Wait. Okay, so you are out of the fight. Hmm, how brave do I want to be? I don't think I want to be that brave. I was thinking about moving here. But I have two people, three people, four people potentially. I think I had enough of those X's. It's okay, and this is gonna hurt. Nope, nope. So far, so good. Okay, you are next. Hmm. 
think about just knocking him down and stepping back. I think that's my best move here. And I hope this guy panics. Nope. Okay, so this is definitely a problem next turn. He goes probably first, yep. Oh, that could have been so much worse. Okay, problem solved. Let's get ready for the next turn here. That's okay. In case we need to fight this guy, I'll start moving in this direction. 17. Okay, do I want to try and kill this one as well? Do I want to be greedy? I could stop him here, but no, I want to be greedy. I can probably afford to do it. Ah! Yep, shouldn't have done that. Okay, please die. Oops. Another injury. He's just refusing to panic. Don't you there. Good. In the end, we have taken some unnecessary damage, surprisingly not really from the guy with the cleaver, but the one that somehow survived the whole fight and died last. Um, we got the flail, we definitely want to give someone the flail. Amber, a little bit of food. Uh, the items are honestly pretty bad considering all they had. Uh, not a single chest armor. Um, I guess the helmets are okay. The axe we're gonna use. Do mm, wooden flail? Uh, hmm. I could maybe get juggler with their extra chance uh, chance to hit head and give him the two-handed flail. Okay, level ups. Here I think I went rotation. 
because I want my throwaways to be able to like replace people who I want to keep and might get in danger. What did I do here? I think I took plus one melee skill for a throwaway. Whatever. Definitely took hit points. I think I took resolve. Because I don't want Donberg to panic after the first, uh, first uh, person next to him dies. And we will be losing people. We have the throwaways for the reason for them to take some damage and die but I can't afford it to have other people panicking when someone dies then we get a shield what about the helmets these are decent you could definitely use a better helmet you could also use a better helmet and this one is 70 points. Yeah, this one is 70 points. Okay. I'm gonna keep this one. So what's for sale? This is for sale. This is for sale. Do we want the cleaver? I'm not a big fan of cleavers. Uh, I want to replace this axe. That's for sure. I'm gonna keep at least one shield. Oh, and if you are new to my videos, to my Battle Brothers series, um, I hate throwing weapons. I'm just not using them. I know it's a mistake, but for some reason, I just I can't force myself to use them. I just I just don't like them. I'm thinking about that cleaver. Do I want to use it? Do I have anybody who'd be able to use it? I could try to replace one of the spears with it. I think I want two axes. I could do something like this, maybe. Because it's definitely a more effective weapon than the spear, and I don't necessarily need to have uh, 30 spearmen. Not even activating spear wall every time. Okay, more level ups. So, this is our uh, sergeant who's gonna most likely spend his days eventually in. Uh, reserve, but for now, I think I'll I'll take really the troops. That's I think that that is what I think I took last time as well, uh, because as people are dying, morale is dropping understandably. So if someone panics, I want to have already really the troops available. Uh, here we definitely need resolve we need stamina and i think i'm gonna take hit points here again that's what i took last time um this one these two will be identical builds so dodge in the video that i lost i it took me a, like a while to figure out what exactly I want to take and which perks I'll be taking so I had to count if I had enough points but this is the decision that I came to that I will start with dodge for both of them <clears throat> my skill hit points initiative pretty sure that's what I took and Roger Roger. Crippling strikes or fast adaptation? I 
I think crippling strikes. Brain skill, stamina, and initiative. I would be a bit more hesitant if Roger wasn't a throwaway. I'd be thinking about range defense instead of probably the stamina. Because again, this is not the build that needs that much. And we won't get it was plus four range defense, we won't get that every time. But here I want him to be as um, effective immediately. Don't have to think about his effectiveness late game. So I'll just take stats that have the most immediate effect. And we are done here. Uh, we took a lot of damage. I'm not sure I want to follow this group. I was only thugs and some poachers. Uh, so at this point, not really that dangerous. I could shuffle the gear around a little bit so that the front line is fine. And we will repair some of the damage as we are chasing them. Yeah, the front line is in decent-ish shape. So I think we will follow this group and try to kill them as well. Um, maybe I can play for a little bit longer so that we get this. <clears throat> it's first ambition fulfilled. Are they moving through the forest or did they leave it? There they are. Hmm. I think if I want to find them outside of the forest or inside. Well, we'll see next time I can decide in between episodes. So hopefully everything worked and uh, you'll actually see this episode. Um, and yeah, next time this is an easy start for the next episode. And then we'll continue. Uh, let's see, is there any reason to go north? Not really. So I'll probably head for Finn's Dervald the first. And then we go back, it's going to be one, two, three, four, all the way to Ashbach, Felsburg, and then we will resume the planned round and just keep running through these over and over again. Okay, so I hope that you liked this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.